Right, today we're going to look at uh, removing the uh, rear windscreen wiper for a, this is a Holden Barina Spark, it's the Australian model it's the same I believe as the Chevy Spark and there's also a Deo or Deo version of it, the Matiz or something of that nature but this is the Holden um, but it's, I think they're virtually identical as you can see the, uh, I think there are two different kinds, this one mounts on the left hand side which in Australia is the passenger side but that's the way, um, obviously if you get one that leans the other way it's not going to work now as you can see there I broke uh, this one which is the reason I'm doing the video because it might save someone else in the future getting it now I think that the easiest way to do this you can see there there's a little plug which uh, covers the nut now there are that's you know, the, I, I was worried about getting it out but the uh, I went to the dealership and they just popped it out they weren't sure either but anyway it comes out quite easily and inside there if you can see it is the little nut but uh, that should be quite easy to get it there are plenty of videos showing how to do that now <coughs> that's a new one here and when you put the you'll see that's an oval shape it's not completely round and when it goes into the uh, holder it goes in that way so it's actually proud at the bottom it's actually sitting out as you can see there it's not flush if you turn it the other way it is flush but it actually falls out if you do that now why I do not know it's just one of the mysteries of this vehicle but um, if you have it the way that actually looks wrong, you'll soon, you'll soon see if you try and pull it out, it'll come out by hand. And the other way, it's actually reasonably difficult to pull out. <coughs> now, what I did wrong and how I broke it was um, there are some videos of similar vehicles, and they tell you to clip it back twice when uh, on the wind on the uh, to remove the blade. Um, this one you do it once it is um, probably not explaining it very well but when you that there is putting it together so you clip it in it goes on to a uh, almost like a little barrel and then it I'm sorry I'm trying to do this one handed but anyway I'll leave it like that because that's actually um, you, it, there's a small you can see a channel there which I'll try and indicate with my pen there now there are two little lugs in the blade and they slide in there and that secures it to a certain extent now when when you go to take it off I would re personally recommend that you take the whole assembly off the back of the car it is much easier to work with when it's off the car and so all you have to do is you pop um, pull the uh, blade down so it's in that position and then you probably get your finger and just pop it off like that and it's uh, it is easy to work with when it when it's off because it, it is just uh, your, your space is very limited on the vehicle when it's on the rear window and that's how I end up breaking it I actually uh, tried to turn it too far because I couldn't see how to undo it and uh, it snapped it snapped the end clean off that's it there I just broke it clean off and uh, here in Australia because we pay a hell of a lot more than everyone else that cost me $68 for, for just for that assembly it didn't even come with a new blade that's actually the existing blade I would recommend that you um, they are available from China and Hong Kong and for what they are I would recommend uh, I've actually got another one coming which is a Chinese one but it, it, I needed it in a hurry so I, I got a genuine one but I'd be amazed if they are very much different to uh, to these. But anyway, hopefully that's uh, that's of some help. You'll, you'll see quite easily which way the uh, it goes in. It, it sort of it suits the um, the assembly there, and that's a little thing that it clips onto, and you can see the two little lugs that actually slide into this bit here. All right, I'm sorry to drag on a bit, but. Uh, Hope it will save someone a bit of money and uh, a little bit of time. Thank you.